In this video, I'm going to be fairly breaking down the pros and cons of both Mojo and Call Tools. And I say this as a loyal and diehard Mojo user. Over the last four years, I have made hundreds of thousands of dollars as a real estate agent taking listings that I found using Mojo. I'm such a diehard fan of Mojo that in fact, I've made several videos about Mojo Dialer. And if you search that up on YouTube, I'm one of the top creators for that search result. But I've decided to make the switch to Call Tools because after I really understood what it could really do, I was blown away. I was like, this is way better than Mojo. And if you're a Mojo user or a Call Tools user, you need to watch this because your dialer, or at least to me, my dialer is the most important tool at my disposal as a real estate agent who takes listings. Your dialer is responsible for a few things, providing you clean and accurate data to call, and then having the ability to dial as many people as possible in the shortest amount of time. And if you could find a dialer that has the cleanest data and the ability to talk to as many people as you can in the shortest amount of time, that's the best dialer. So in this video, I'm going to be giving a fair pros and cons list of both Mojo and Call Tools so you can make your own decision on what you want to do. First, let's go over pricing. So for Mojo, the triple line dialer, because why would you buy the single line? The triple line dialer is $150 for the dialer itself. Then you need to purchase the expired data for $50, the neighborhood search, which is the circle prospecting function, which is an extra 50. And then you can also purchase the for sale by owners for an another 50. I personally never did the first of all owners. You just find that on Zillow. Also, if you don't want to use your personal number, you need a Mojo voice number. So that's $10. So for the dialer, the Mojo number expires and circle prospecting, that's the stack I would get with um, Mojo. You are looking at a total of $260 for that setup. The call tools dialer is $110 a month. That's the dialer. You also need to buy phone numbers for it. So unlike the Mojo, if you're, if you're familiar with Mojo, it's just one phone number number you're dialing from. So all of your leads that you're calling are receiving a call from this one number. With call tools, you can have unlimited amounts of numbers. Now it's $2 per line. It's $2 per line per month. And you want a minimum of 10 lines because call tools is a 10 line dialer. So you're looking at about $20 a month for the phone numbers to dial from. So it's 110 plus 20 that you're at 130 so far for the month. Now call tools is only a dialer. So you also need data. I personally personally use call information for my data. It's basically only circle prospecting data and I'm paying about $60 a month for it. So that brings my total call tools total to $190 a month. It's an unbalanced assessment because uh, Mojo, I'm paying about $260, but that includes expireds and call tools doesn't include the um, data. I got the outside call information for $60 and I don't have an expired on top, on top of that, but that does give me a $70 wiggle room, find expires, and then the cost would equal out. Now that we talked about price, let's get into the pros and cons of each dialer. Starting with Mojo, the absolute greatest thing about Mojo is that all the data is integrated within that platform. It's a very easy and simple to use platform. You don't have to go outside for data. The expireds and for sale by owners are all within that platform. It gets auto updated, so it's not the most accurate, but it gets auto updated. So if an expired listing comes back up for sale, Mojo will sometimes remove it. Like Mojo will try to update the data. That's what I really like about Mojo, how easy the data access is. It's just all a part of the program. In fact, when a new agent joins my team and they're like, should I get call tools or Mojo? And I'll ask, well, what do you plan? What lead source do you plan on calling? And they tell me expires. I'm like, just use Mojo. It's going to be too complicated for call tools. I, I think that's really the pro of Mojo, um, the ease of access to data. The cons is that Mojo is a triple line dialer. So at most, you can dial three phone numbers at a time. Another terrible flaw of Mojo is how wrong the data is. Now, I've also used Red X before, and I think Mojo is a lot better than Red X. Actually, Mojo does have accurate data. The problem with Mojo's data is whether you're looking at an expired or circle prospecting lead. The thing with the issue with Mojo is that they have correct data. However, Mojo gives you like five phone numbers numbers per lead. So if there's an expired contact, which is like a homeowner that tried to sell their home, but they couldn't, they'll have the right number of the homeowner, but they'll give you four other phone numbers. And the thing is like, there's only one head of household homeowner per house. I don't need the wife's number and the son's number and the son's doctor's number and the aunt's number. Yeah, you do get that correct piece of information, but then you get a bunch of wrong ones. And so that's why people are like, oh, I don't like Bojo. I, I get a lot of wrong numbers. No, you get the right number 
numbers. It's just that Mojo gives you extra numbers just in case the first one's wrong, and those are the wrong numbers. So the issue is it gives you too much data. Another negative about Mojo is that you have to dial into Mojo using your phone. So when you connect to Mojo's platform, it makes you call into the phone number that they give you. So you use your phone to call into the software, and then it uses your phone to call the leads. I don't like that. And another negative about Mojo is that you can only call from one phone number. So it gives you a much higher chance of becoming spam likely, and everyone will recognize your phone number that you're calling from, unless you're switching out your numbers every now and then, but like, that's annoying. All right, so that's Mojo. Let's move on to Call Tool. What I think is one of the best features about Call Tools is that it's a 10-line dialer. So immediately, you're dialing over three times the amount at once than what Mojo is capable of. You're dialing from 10 lines from 10 different phone numbers. And so like what the next time you call that contact, when you ram through your list and you run through it again and again and again, you can call them like 10 times and it'll all be from different phone numbers. So you're not training them to not pick up your phone number when you call. No, it's a fresh random local. You know, it's got my, you you choose the zip code, you choose the area code. It's, it's a local phone number that you can call from every time. Another great feature about call tools is that there's a less spam risk. So each phone number has a daily cutoff limit. Out of the 10 phone numbers, like each phone number can dial 75 phone numbers, meaning with 10 phone numbers, you can dial 750 phone numbers a day. And this 75 call limit keeps it so that you are not becoming a spam number. Whereas with Mojo, you only have one number. And if you're dialing 300 numbers a day on that, I, I don't do I need to say it? What I also really like about call tools is that it automatically records all your audio. Now Mojo does too. You have to pay like an extra $25 a month for the call recording feature. Call tools just does it automatically. And another thing I liked about call tools was when I was initially trying to figure out how to use call tools, I constantly had to keep going back into um, talk to support. And the great thing about their support is they're very responsive. There usually is someone there to help you with whatever you need. Now, because Mojo was so simple to use, I never really had to ever talk to support. <laughs> it's not the easiest to figure out on your own. Um, that's why I actually made a call tools tutorial YouTube video. Um, the link will be down below. That video should teach you how to set up your call tools account. You can watch me uh, dial actual live leads and um, kind of give you the breakdown of my strategy on how I make six figures a year doing this. So that's the pros of call tools. Now let's move on to the con. And the cons is that there's no data. Call tools is just a dialer. And when you compare that to Mojo that has all the data, it is a huge downside to call tools. I need to get extra data from an outside source. I use cold information. They have the cleanest data that I found. Um, and it's because they only give you one number per household. In that video, I just spoke about the call tools tutorial. I give you a breakdown on how to use call information in that video as well. By the way, if you want $200 off your first year with call information, I got an affiliate link down below. Actually, I'd love to know if you have an exterior source for data or expired data or whatever, like whatever you're using, I want you to comment it down below so I can take a look at it because I need some data. If you've got good expired data, if you've got good like pre-foreclosure data, probate data, like let me know in the comments below because I will take a look. I, I'm, I need some expires. Another con to call tools is how not uh, intuitive. It is a complicated software to use. Once you figure it out, it's very simple. It is like incredibly simple to use. But your first day or two trying to figure out how this works, you do need guidance on that. And in fact, there is an onboarding call you have to go on. Well, you don't have to go on, but it is highly recommended you go on that onboarding call so that they can show you how to use it. With Mojo, you can just make an account and just start ripping through phone numbers. With call tools, you do struggle for a little bit. Another con is how difficult the data is to read. And what I mean by that is when you want to, at the end of the day, look at like how many phone numbers you called. Call tools has a weird way of defining like what a call is and what an outbound call is and what a connected call is. And like, it's not so straight. With Mojo, it's like, here's how many dials you made. Here's how many contacts you hit uh, based on how many times you hit contact. Here's how many no contacts you hit. Like it's very straightforward on what kind of KPIs you hit. With Mojo, I have to like click on like a few different ways to read the information to understand how many dials I did that day. And then in order to see how many contacts I made, I need to go to a separate page. I don't even think I still read it correctly, but yeah, the data is not so straightforward.
forward, if you want to see how many calls you're making, if you want to see how many contacts you're hitting, like it's not so straightforward. You have to like decipher the information. So that's actually one of the things I really don't like about call tools is how hard it is to decipher what your metrics are. So in summary, basically, I love Mojo for its ease of use. And I love call tools for its ability to dial over three times the amount that Mojo can dial. I also love how there's 10 different phone numbers you can call from at once. You're always a new number to the contact, uh, which has a higher likelihood of them answering the phone. I really like that. And also, each of those numbers is anonymous. You know, they can't find you. If they try to Google your phone number, they can't find you. It's not linked to you. I really like that. So, I mean, both dialers are great in their own regard. They both also have some crappy cons. But at the end of the day, it's up to you to figure out what you want to do. I think they're both great options. But if you're circle prospecting, I would definitely go with call tools. If you're calling it expired, as of now, because I don't have a great expired lead source, again, please comment below where you're getting your expires or your probates or your pre foreclosures or whatever. Like, I want to know where you're getting your data from. So please comment that down below. Actually, if I had expires to call and I could figure out an easy way to integrate that into call tools, I would pick call tools over Mojo for the rest of my life. Just like, it's not even an argument that I would choose call tools. But because I don't have access to expired right now, the ease of use with Mojo and the integration with this expired data is the reason why I still think Mojo is a good option. If you want to know my exact scripts on how to set multiple listing appointments a day, I've got a video on that below. And if you want to watch my call tools tutorial on how to set it up and actually listen to me make a call, I got that video linked down below too. And before you go on, if you made it to this point, I want to know who you are because you are my favorite person in the world. And so for me to know who you are in the comments down below say I love whatever I love mojo I love call tools tell me what you love so I know who made it to the end and I'll know who you are because you are my favorite person in the world thanks for watching I appreciate it I'll see you in the next one